this the times where I wasn't making any sales for the hour. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla. I spent the whole morning looking for my microphone because I wanted to be like Hi guys, welcome to my channel type of vibe, but I cannot tell you where I put it. It has to be somewhere I just don't know where that's okay. We are not gonna stress out about it. It's gonna come out somewhere It is currently 12 57 and we're gonna be setting up for the disenchanted market at 5 the market is actually tomorrow. They allow you to set up a day before, which is really nice. Recently, I've been obsessed with these bows. I just really love how they look in your hair. So right now, my bunny for my mom is wearing them. Like, look, she's so pretty. They look so dainty and cute, and it's just a fun way to accessorize. So I got these two from Urban Outfitters for... I want to say $16 or $14. I also went back for more yesterday and I got these two for $14. These ones are just army green and they look so cute. I'm going to wear these tomorrow. I think it's going to match my outfit very well and put everything together. I found this and if you guys are like, what the heck is that? It's basically a little bunny headband and my friend Vianney made it for me. These are my two favorite colors, brown and green. This is what it looks like on. I want to tie it, but like, I think it's like, it looks really nice just like this, like on your head. We are very much twinning. Anyway, shout out to Viani for making this for me. I think it looks so cute and I'm so excited to wear it. I recently did an art trade with my friend Sav and she's from Toronto. I want to show you the little goodies that she got for me. I already put it in my sticker book. This one's my personal one and you can find this on buyagru.com but it's out of stock right now. I'm planning to restock it very soon. And for those who don't know what a reusable sticker book is, it's basically a book that has the sticker backing adhesive so you're able to put the sticker really anywhere you don't have to commit to a spot and this book works perfect for me because i really like collecting stickers and trading them the larger ones are my personal designs what they look like and during the edmonton expo i was doing a bunch of trades for stickers and i was also buying a couple stickers and i feel like it's a perfect way to showcase other people's artwork i'm going to show you sav's page and her art style is so cute i cannot actually i'm going to flip it over because it might be a little easier to see all the colors. I have Sav stickers all displayed right here and her art style is adorable. I'm obsessed with it. I really like her original character and it's this little monkey character that you see a lot in her illustrations. Here's a little close-up of the stickers and I love how cohesive everything looks. She also gave me a couple stickers from her other art friends and they are so cute as well. I forgot to show these and Sav added these washi tapes to the art trade, which is like perfect because I recently just got into bullet journaling. Let me know if you guys are interested in videos like that because I kind of want to do like an ASMR bullet journaling video. I actually met Sav through TikTok, so I just reached out to her and I was like, uh, do you want to do an art trade? Shout out to Sabs too for doing an art trade with me. I'm so happy with everything that I got. Outfit change. I changed into my little crewneck. I have a couple of sizes left over from the launch. So if you guys are interested, it's up on my website. Or better yet, if you guys are located in Edmonton, it'll be at my upcoming markets. Oh my gosh, I'm literally air frying um, some lasagna for lunch. And it is so loud. Please don't mind. If you guys like the Quaker Crispy Minis, let me tell you about this flavor because I'm literally obsessed. This is the savory tomato and basil, and it's so good. This does not last long. Like, I probably eat, I would say one of these a day. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. <laughs> if you are a rice cracker fan and you're looking for a new flavor to try, I would highly recommend this one. I'm out of the house and I want to go to Michael's to go grab some ribbon, hair accessories, and some glue because I want to make my own Urban Outfitters little bows. Alright, so I got quite a few items from Michael's. I'll show you guys everything that I got in a bit, but I have to check what time it is. The first thing that caught my eye are these Hello Kitty and Friends stickers. They are so cute. It comes with four sheets. I thought these would be really fun when I bullet journal or scrapbook. I can add all of these fun little Sanrio characters. 
the next thing that I got is a glue gun because I don't know why but I don't have a glue gun I was initially gonna get like the super glue epoxy e6 something yeah so I was initially gonna get that but I thought I would get more use out of this so I got a pink glue gun and the gorilla glue hot sticks I ended up getting these two colors, so I got this dusty pink and this off-white color. And then lastly, I got these hair clip attachments. I did not know that they were called alligator clips, but it took me a while to find these, but I got them. I'm currently sweating right now because I really did not want to open the window while I was filming. But I want a beverage, like, I want something sweet right now. Okay, I'm a baddie if I end up getting a drink right now, and if I don't... I'm probably like super washed out right now, but we're gonna head to the aviation museum and set up for the disenchanted market. I recently just got this wagon from Costco and look how much it carries. It's crazy. I only need to do one trip. I just finished setting up and I want to show you my setup. So this is where all my stickers are. I still need to put up my sign. And then I put my sticker sheets here. I have keychains and my Totoro tote bag here. And more stickers. And then I have my art prints. I'm gonna figure out a better way to display this tomorrow. And then I have my phone grips here. This is Patrick, this is Fishnets. This is an oil pastel drawing that I drew a while back. Totoro drinking some soot sprays. I have Sailor Moon. Okay, that's my setup. I'm also handing out candy or stickers. I'm not sure yet. Good morning, everyone. Today is the next day and it's market day. I spent the morning just doing my makeup and getting ready as well as just preparing stock and packing these guys. At the market I'm doing, they're holding a little trick-or-treat event for people. So I have these giddy bags prepared. I prepared about, I wanna say 40. I hope that will be enough for today. And what I have in these little giddy bags is a bat ring, a sticker, a pen, and my business card. I also have leftover chupa chups from my previous market, so if anything, if these run out, I can have those ones. The sweater I'm wearing, I thrifted it with my brother, and it's this really nice green color, and it's super cozy. It's giving very much fall vibes. I'm gonna pair it with my bows that I got from Urban Outfitters. I think it's gonna be a perfect little matchy-matchy outfit. I'm gonna prepare some last-minute stuff, and I'll see you at the market. fall season when you start getting the warmer drinks and I just got this vanilla oh it says a latte french vanilla 2% stopped by McDonald's before I headed towards the market and I also got uh, a little snack let me tell you my breakfast order from McDonald's so I usually order the sausage McGriddle with no egg it tastes so good you guys have not tried the McGriddles highly recommend it's like a pancake with like stuff in between like sweet and savory you know currently 9 19 and the market doesn't start until 10 so i'll be good for a little moment i also got an etsy sale today for the longest time my etsy has been on hold for verification reasons I'm just very happy that i have my etsy at back up etsy's pulling through with the sales to be honest ever since i started paying for like ads i have like a couple sales here and there from etsy's after the market today i'm planning to meet up with my friend adam regine and venus we're gonna see what time i'm Honestly, everything is in the works. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. This thing literally smells so good. And let me show you. Look how cute it is. It has like the little M for McDonald's on it. But it has no cheese. 
Oh my gosh, heavenly, godly, I love it. All my online girlies out there who have a business and get a lot of sales on Etsy, how do you drive more online sales? Because I'm really struggling with that. Like I'm trying my social media out, I'm trying my TikTok, I'm trying my YouTube, and I feel like it's not really converting to sales. But yeah, let me know, I need some advice. I'm also, I know I'm eating already, but I'm very excited for my lunchtime because Kind Thai is here. And Kind Thai has the best Thai food and Thai iced tea. It like, it's so good. I'm very excited for my lunch and yeah. I kind of want to order something new because I usually just get like the peanut and rice combo with like the Thai iced tea. Um, I recently tried like the short ribs and it tastes really bomb. It's really good. I like it and I might get that again. I don't know yet because it's, it was kind of messy to eat like, you know. I'm the type of person to like literally eat everything off the bone. I'm not leaving anything on the bone. If I do, I'm wasting food. But I'll tell you when they're up again. They're so loud. Like this like looks really good on this shirt, but it, it's only good on like really lighter colors. Like the darkest that you can go, it's like this. Oh, oh yeah. We we slay. <laughs> I got pork belly and garlic rice. Ta da! Pretty! It's so pretty! And it smells so good. Yourself. Hi, I'm Jace Co. I'm part of Blue Home Candle Co. And I'm Jay Lynn, another part of Blue Home Candle Co. To be where Ken would be. Yeah, Ken is missing. Market has been pretty good. Um, decent crowd. Nice weather outside. Very nice weather outside. Yeah, it's hot. Nice okay, so I just got this phone strap from this place. It's our very first market. This is what it looks like and it's this little sprout guy. So cute. And then it was initially just this. Right? Really? It was just this with the cherries and the tulip and the stars. It gave me an attachment strap. I think I'm gonna use it for my camera. This is um Lisa's little duck that she made out of concrete. Like all these good postings. But I really don't want What is this? I'm vlogging. Oh, hi. Yeah, this is my friend Adam. Where you want it? Good morning, today is day two of market day and I'm a little tired today because I was out all night last night And yeah, I'm gonna drink some coffee and hopefully I get some energy in me But today's market isn't super long. I think it's from It's from 10 to 3 so it's not bad at all. I'm gonna be honest yesterday was pretty slow for me like there was some times where I wasn't making any sales for the hour or two hours like yeah, it was really slow. There was foot traffic, but I would say since I didn't have like a lot of Disney stuff, because this is like a Disney themed market, I feel like I didn't have enough Disney stuff for people to be super interested in my work. I don't know. That's how I feel, I think. It is the last day of the market, so we're going to be at the market 
I'm also packing up today and I don't know, I might do something after. I'm not sure yet. I do want to show you guys this new keychain that I got from Sharks and Donuts. I got this from my friend Chelsea and she does really cute illustrations and I just love her art style. So I have this in an art print but I also wanted it in a keychain form. This is what it looks like and it's so cute. It has like a little heart dangling over here. I have Chelsea's social media down below and this is her Instagram page if you guys want to follow her and get your own keychain. going to Fua Fua Pancakes. Hopefully it's open. I didn't check whether it's open or not. Yeah, I'm super excited to go to Fua Fua Pancakes because I really want something sweet. This place has board games you can pick to play. I think we might play Uno though. We're gonna play Uno. Who's uh, Pancake with banana and Nutella. And a little fair roche right there. Yummy! And then we also got this crowful. I think it's tiramisu flavored. Okay, first, it smells like a tiramisu. No, smell it. it smells nice. What's the name of this? A crowful. A crowful? A waffle and a croissant. Texture is my favorite part. I think I would prefer if they had actual Nutella instead of like the Nutella sauce. It doesn't have a nice consistency, you know? We've decided to go to Yellowed. Walk in, walk in. <laughs> Ooh, I might get cereal milk. This is the ice cream I got. 